So hi everyone, and welcome to this video on a proof for the angle between two vectors. So we have a theorem here and we're gonna prove it a little bit uh, rigorously and we're gonna sort of graph it out first to see all the steps uh, involved. So for example, uh, according to this theorem, uh, if u and v are two vectors that we have and theta is the angle between them, then the dot product between u and v, the vectors u and v, which is a number, which will end up being a number, is just equal to the norm of u times the norm of v times cosine of theta. So um, uh, let's start with the proof of that. So let's start with the proof. Okay, so uh, suppose, okay, suppose that uh, u and then v are in Rn, right? And that they start at the origin, okay, right? And uh, to, to visualize that, let's just draw a graph. So for example, this is the origin. So we have your zero. And let's say we have here, um, let's have this one as vector V, right? And let's have this one here as a vector U. Right, so we have two vectors there. So that's what we have. Then uh, let's draw a perpendicular line perpendicular line, okay, from um, the endpoints. So let's have a point here, let's call it uh, A, and then let's have another point here, say B. And uh, we're gonna draw a line connecting those two points. So let me draw it here. So we have that dashed line there is a perpendicular line that connects those two points, right? So from A to B, then uh, we have now here, okay, so clearly, okay, clearly, okay, the vector, okay, OB, so this one from zero to B, right, is some scalar multiple of uh, OV. Right of that entire uh, of that entire uh, vector there, right? So it's some scalar multiple of that particular vector, vector v. Then, uh, without loss of generality, let's assume. Okay, let's assume that the scalar, okay, is uh, some quantity, say t. Right, so T. And thus, we have that uh, basically the norm of zero to B is just equal to a scalar multiple of vector V, which is just uh, T V, right? So we have that in there. Now, you see here, I emphasize the fact that this is sort of cosine theta. So we're going to derive that that is true. And if you remember from high school, uh, if we have this sort of property of a right triangle, then your cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? So that's the CAH term there in SOKATOA. So that's adjacent over hypotenuse. So if you see here, we're going to have an angle here, and that angle is somewhere here. And from the origin, the adjacent um, vector here is this OB vector. So this is sort of a, your adjacent, adjacent. And clearly the hypotenuse is this one, right? Hypotenuse uh, is that one, right? So we're gonna divide. So we know that cosine theta is equal to that quantity, which is the adjacent vector, which is the length of OB, which is basically the norm of OB, times the norm of U, which is the length of vector U, right? So we know that um, cosine theta is equal to adjacent of our hypotenuse, so that's uh, the norm of OB divided by the norm of U, right? But uh, as we mentioned, the norm of OB is just equal to the norm of TV. 
So this is the norm of TV divided by the norm of U, right? And by properties of norms, we can take this out so that T, norm of V, over norm of U, right? So um, if you recall, right, but since, okay, but since triangle uh, z oh, zero B A is a right triangle, so because this is a perpendicular line that we drew, is a right triangle, then we know that um, the following has to be true. So uh, basically from Pythagorean theorem, because it is a right triangle, we know that the norm of U, which is the length of vector U, which is the hypotenuse, right? Norm of U squared, right? So remember A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared is equal to this OB distance that we have, OB squared, right? Plus uh, AB, right? Which is the other side of the triangle. That's AB squared, right? And, uh, you know, just to be more formal about it, this is U squared. Again, OB is just what we have. That's TV squared. Then to get that side, okay, that AB squared, well, that's just uh, U minus TV, right? So that's just uh, plus U minus uh, TV, right? If we're going to apply Pythagorean properties to it, squared, right? So uh, we can sort of simplify this and uh, we get T squared norm of V squared, right? So we distribute the exponent to, to both and we by properties of norms, we can factor out the scalar plus we can express this norm as sort of a, a dot product. So we have U minus TV times U minus TV transpose, right? So we have that. Then uh, we can simplify this uh, term here, right? We can not really simplify, but expand. So it's T squared, V squared, plus U dot U, right? Minus, okay, so notice because they're the same, okay, we're going to have a term that's 2U times uh, TV, TV transpose, oops, TV transpose, right? Plus TV times TV transpose, right? Basically. And uh, where we're going to have simplifying further T squared, V squared plus, uh, this is U dot U prime, U dot U prime minus 2 T U V prime, okay? Plus, there are two T's here, so we can do T squared, and then V times V prime, right? But uh, we know that uh, this one term here, that's actually just norms, right? So U times U prime, that's just the norm of U squared, right? Then let's keep this one as is, prime, right? Plus t squared, well, here we have the norm of v squared, right? That's the norm of v squared. So we know that the norm of u squared is equal to t squared, norm of v squared, plus norm of u squared minus 2tuv prime plus t squared, norm of v squared, right? So we know that, right? And uh, from here, okay, we can sort of uh, combine a couple of terms here. So notice this term and this term are exactly the same. So we have u squared is equal to 2t squared v squared plus norm of u squared minus 2t u v prime, right? And uh, basically, we know that this will cancel out if I transpose that to the other side. And I'm going to be left with 2t squared v squared equal to 2t u v prime, right? I'm left with that, right? And uh, if I divide both sides by uh, 2t, since both of them have that, I get uh, uh, t v squared, right? I get that. Uh, t v squared equal to u v prime, right? 
And uh, well, this one can uh, easily be uh, reduced to something. So uh, if I solve it for t, I get that t, so if I divide both sides by v squared, right, normal v squared, I get t is equal to uv prime all over v squared, right? So I get that term. And uh, basically, uh, if you recall, uh, it means that uh, cosine, okay, cosine of theta, again, cosine of theta is equal to, if you recall from what we had, that's t, okay, t v over, right, t v over u, right? And now we have t, so we can just plug that in. So this is equal to u v prime, right, u v prime uh, o over v squared times v over u. But uh, this one can cancel out, so I'm left with that. So I'm going to be left with u v prime all over v u. And that's equal to cosine theta, right? Then again, if I just want to prove what, uh, what I said here, well, that's just a matter of rearranging. So it's clear from here that the dot product of u dot v, again, that's like a dot product, is equal to uh, v u times cosine theta. And that completes our proof. So that's, a, that's our quite lengthy proof of the angle between two vectors. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.